So in this video, we're going to be doing the initial setup of Shopify. So before I really take a full dive into Shopify, I just want to go ahead and clear up a lot of uh, misconceptions that you're going to get from a lot of people. Everybody thinks Shopify just costs like so much money. Shopify itself does not cost a lot. What's going to make Shopify cost a lot is the apps. I'm not even gonna say make Shopify. What's going to cost a lot is going to be your apps, but they include the pricing of your apps into the cost that you have to pay uh, Shopify, because Shopify, they're the ones that you know take the money. So if you download a bunch of apps and your Shopify store is like $79 a month just for Shopify, but those apps tally up to, let's say $200 a month, that's $279 that you have to pay towards Shopify and then they divvy out the money. So just to clear that up, Shopify itself does not cost a lot. It is the apps that you add on. All right. So now that we got out the way, um, let's go ahead and get into it. The very first thing I recommend anybody and everybody do is if you have Google Chrome, go up here to this corner right here. When you get up here to your right hand corner, you're gonna click on this circle and you're gonna see these options. Go to other people, and you may not have none of these right here, just go to other people. Actually, I'm sorry, go to add. And when you get to add, type in your name, all right? So for us, I decided to do uh, songs for married people all right so they want to have you know like make custom made items with you know their song where they can scan a qr code or scan something like that and to be able to play their song from their first dance when they got married at their ceremony so for us i'm gonna put forever song or forever song that's what i ended up coming up with so we're gonna uncheck uh create desktop for this shortcut scroll down you can pick any picture right here and or if you have a uh, google account and you have your picture already synced up to your account it'll load your picture up on your profile instead of you know one of these so we'll just select this record player hit add it'll tell me to get started so now i go to i'm already a chrome user because i already set that up i was going to do all of that on camera so it's forever songs 100 at gmail.com go to next we'll type in our password hit next so when this page come up yes i'm in always turn on sync because that way if you ever leave from this computer and go to another computer that have google chrome you can go up here in the corner hit that button hit sign in and sign into your existing stuff so that way it saves everything it saves your the sites you visit it saves your passwords it saves everything on there so you don't have to remember virtually uh, almost anything that you type in but it's going to ask you up here hey do you want to save that information so we're going to hit yes i'm in this page come up we're going to skip that and let's go back to shopify So now we're back on Shopify. We click up here. We notice that we are signed in and this green button right here uh, with the two arrows going around the circle. That means your sync is on. So from here, let's hit start free trial. So our email address is for ever songs 100 at gmail.com. We enter our password. When we put in our password, we want to, uh, this is our password, not for our email address, but for us to log into our Shopify account. So we're going to hit that, put that in. Next up is our store name. We'll do forever song. Hit create your store. And just like I said earlier, this is going to pop up in your upper right hand corner. I always hit save so that way I don't have to memorize the password every single time I sign in. It'll automatically remember it for me. We're going to hit save. Now, they're going to ask you a few questions just to uh, get a little bit of information about your business and or, you know, what you're trying to do. Um, so the first question they're going to ask is, are you selling? So are you already selling? We're just going to hit uh 
I'm selling just not online yet because you know we're doing custom made items we just don't have anywhere online to sell them at just yet so that's why we're here all right when would you like to launch your store we're gonna put I'll be ready in a few weeks how do you want to sell we're gonna say online only yes you can do uh, both online and in person but I just like to do online only and you can definitely go back in there later on and set up Shopify POS which is something that's we'll talk about that when we get there all right what is your current revenue we'll go down to up to 5,000 um if you have been selling then you know you made some money you know so just do up to 5,000 which industry uh, will you be operating in for us we are going to be operating in handcrafts because we're making items you know with our hands y'all got a heat press but take your hands to pull it down <laughs> so yeah we're making items uh handcraft so are you setting up a Shopify store for a client no so we're not even gonna check anything right there we're just gonna hit next so on this next page they want you to add an address so you can get paid all right this will be used as your default business address you can always change that later so you can have your uh, default business address to where you would get um, mail from Shopify or mail from you know various places but you can always change out your shipping address and you can ship from somewhere else so for this one honestly I just put my um uh, my uh, PO box for this so name oh there you go Angelo Bonaparte address 650 S Central Avenue Hapeville Georgia PO box 82454 some places well some people they do uh, take this PO box right here and then they'll paste it right here for the address which is perfectly fine um, as long as you have the correct zip zip code for that PO box it should automatically forward it there but for me on the safe side I like to put the actual address to the post office and then I put my PO box down here but either way will work All right so we got Hayville, United States, Georgia, 30354. Uh, phone number. For this part, put your personal phone number. Um, it will not show your personal phone number on your website or any of your invoices or anything like that. But this right here is for a, uh, a customer service aspect. Like if you want them to call you back or if you're trying to verify your account, they're going to use whatever number you put right here, even if they have to send a code to your phone and you got to type in the code whatever it is this is the number where you want a direct line to you so i'm gonna put in my phone number and uh you have a business or a personal website you can put that down there as well but majority of us are not going to have it since we're trying to set up a website we don't already have a website and down here this store is a registered business you you can click this if you're registered with the state or you know if you got your ein number or just if you're if you are the registered route and you will know if you are because we've done that work then you can check this but until then you don't have to check it and then you can just go as a uh, sole prop where you put in your social security number and all that other stuff all right so from here I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the next part and then we'll go from there all right so I just got finished putting in my phone number and as soon as I did that it came up to this screen and we are officially on the uh i guess we we'll call it the hub or the home screen of your shopify website of the back end of your shopify all right every time you log in this stuff right here in the middle this stuff will be different it'll show you your, your, your uh, daily sales you got for the day how many orders you got how much money you generated how many uh visitors came to your website for that day and you have all that information uh in place by day by a uh, week and by month all right so then you have over here you have your tabs and everything over here so we are going to call this a good stopping point and then go ahead and click down below on the next video or it should automatically start next on your playlist all right so i will see you all in the very next video and please be sure to subscribe to my channel join our facebook group sublimation cove where we talk about sublimation and last but not least we are the owners of cosmos inc so if you need any type of sublimation ink supplies or payment ink supplies or whatever supplies for your business be sure to hit that link too we'll get it sent out to you asap all right see you all in the next video